Hey up everybody. Right then, in front of you here, you can see me next, one of my next projects that I'm going to attempt to do. Um, I went up to my local track a few weeks back and I came across this, somebody was selling it. So what is it then? It's a, it's a micro lathe. Um, it's very, very old and the chap that actually started making this never got it finished obviously and since then it's passed through numerous pairs of hands and nothing's been done to it till it's, till it's come to me. I couldn't resist it when I saw it because I thought it would be a nice project to work on in between well in between all my other jobs that I've got. Uh, sometimes I think you, you can take too much on but it's better to, better, better to have plenty to do than to be bored isn't it. Now back in the day, the list the list is too numerous for me to name. There were hundreds of makers of these micro lathes. Look on the internet, you'll probably you'll probably find uh, loads of different makers of micro lathes and mini lathes. There's no actual name on this one. So whether this were a casting specifically made for a home engineer to make or whether it were casting that were shipped out for other you know manufacturers to do all the machining and make them into lathes I don't know and then put their own label on perhaps but it's a it's a really well made casting it's quite heavy and it's a, it's a, it's really well made so uh, right then uh, let's have a look at size of it so anyway what I'm planning to do what I'm planning to do is obviously it's had a little bit of work done it on it to start it the chap that had it initially has done the the work on the casting for the um, saddle the cross slide and the compound slide they're not finished but he's made a start of them and got them in up to a good point you know up to a good stage uh, now, usually I don't like taking other people's work on because you're not 100% sure of what you know, uh, or, or what you're what you're taking on, and, and sometimes it's better to start from scratch. But I've I've done a bit of measuring on this, and the actual bits that he's done is made a real nice job of them. So I'll continue with that. I think the only the only bad thing really is this lead screw. Because this is steel, it's actually eaten away into the steel, so this is no good. So, if I want a new lead, lead screw making, my plan is then, I thought, it, I'll make a proper job on it, I'll make it into a screw cutting micro lathe, I'll put all the back gears on, uh, sorry, I'll put all the change wheels on, and I'll put a back gear on it to make it so it can uh, be the speed reduction can be suitable for screw cutting perhaps so everything else has got to be made other than what you can see there's quite a lot of work to do but you know in between all my other jobs I think it'll make a nice uh, nice project so size wise then I suppose if you include the change wheels at the back it's going to finish up roughly between 16 and 17 inches long. If you if you millimetre people out there, we're talking probably 400 to 450 long. Uh, the actual height is five inches or 125 mil. The actual swing over the bed to the centre. It's two and an eighth, which is just over 50. So it'll take uh, four inch diameter over the bed, and then between centres. If I wind the tailstock right, right, you're probably looking at getting eight inch, uh, eight inch length of component in, in between centres. Uh, so that's all it came with. So what I thought I'd make another lead screw and make it 8 teeth per inch square thread so I can make it into a screw cutting micro lathe. 
I've got no plans, I've got no drawings, it's just going to come out of my head this. Uh, so watch this space for that. Let's take camera off and we'll have a look at it and then uh, as time progresses in between all my other jobs I'll, I'll, I'll do you know a few videos on me doing it. Right now I've measured everything up. I think first job is to you know get get it all cleaned up, get the surface rust off. Um, yeah, get all the surface rust off, and probably first job I'm going to do is probably um, the headstock side. Start making the pulleys, the back gear, etc. Ready for the ch change wheels to be fitted on and the lead screw etc and then probably work this way as time goes by and you know start making everything up for it there's a lot of work to do on it because everything's got to be made from scratch uh, but you know it might be worth doing as a nice little project right then it I'll, uh, I'll sign off for now then, uh, if you found that useful and informative and interesting give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you on the next part to this then when, I've, when I start making things for it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now then.